deregulation disrupted the trucking industry and created a lot of opportunities. In our two previous segments, we talked about trucker operating costs and some of the market forces that have driven rates down over time. I wanted to wrap up today with a look at two very specific market forces that are top of mind for owner-operators, brokers and leverage. When deregulation opened up freight markets to new players, the number of trucking companies increased from less than 19,000 in 1980 to almost a million today. More than 90% of those new companies are small operators with only a handful of tractors or less. But here's the thing, that 90% accounts for fewer than 10% of all truck drivers on the road today. 90% of drivers work for someone else, and that means that most truck freight is being hauled by a relatively small percentage of companies that own a large number of trucks. And that right there is the fly in our pie. Shippers like to keep things simple. They want to reap the rewards of deregulation in the form of lower transportation costs that they can pass along to consumers, but they don't want to deal with a million drivers. They want to sign a contract with one trucking company or delegate sourcing to a broker or other third party. It was broker practices, specifically allegations of price gouging, that led truckers to camp outside the White House in April 2020, calling for a federal investigation. The Department of Justice has been investigating those allegations for several months now, but while there may be some unscrupulous brokers, the real issue here is one of leverage. Brokers that have agreed to deliver freight at a certain price are naturally going to try to find a driver willing to haul that at the lowest possible price. The price they negotiate is really their own business. That's the risk they take, betting they can find a driver willing to haul that load for a fraction of what they're getting paid. If yes, they make money. If no, they lose money. The only real leverage an owner-operator has is their decision to pass or accept on whatever rate the broker is offering. As a broker's deadline approaches, they're going to become increasingly motivated to find a driver to fulfill that contract and will increase the rate accordingly. That's what happened in the third quarter of 2020 when demand for drivers was high and 25% of the loads being offered on load boards were being rejected. Back in April, when loads were scarce, it was easier to find drivers willing to haul at or below their cost. The hard truth here is that drivers haul cheap freight because they need to eat or make a truck payment, and those immediate needs outweigh the long-term consequences for themselves and the industry as a whole. Freight markets are free and efficient, and the only free market solution to cheap freight rates is to reject them. For some, that might mean cultivating your own direct customer relationships or upscaling to provide premium services such as tanker or heavy haul, or adding a side hustle outside of trucking to carry you through the lean months when you can't get the rates you want. The beauty and tragedy of the free market is that you have the absolute freedom to accept or reject a load. That's the only leverage you have. No broker can make you haul on the cheap, but only you have the power to say no. For the Truck Boss Show, I'm Brad Kuhn.